so so far we can see that they understood that this will they will see more of a result more results in future generations because they're implementing these things from that time and they understood what was going to happen they were going to have a lot of pushback but they also realize that over time if we keep doing this the future generation will have them in our grasp and so far they seem to have us in their grasp but things are changing it gets better okay therefore if you break the female mother she will break the offspring in its early years of development and when the offspring is old enough to work she will deliver it up to you for her normal female protective tendencies will have been lost in the original breaking process for example take the case of the wild stud horse a female horse and an already infant horse and compare the breaking process with two captured nigger males in their natural state a pregnant nigger woman with her infant offspring take the stud horse break him for limited containment completely break the female horse until she becomes very gentle whereas you or anybody can ride her in her comfort breed the mare and the stud until you have the desired offspring then you can turn the stud to freedom until you need him again <laughs> train the female horse whereby she will eat out of your hand and she will in turn train the infant horse to eat out of your hand also when it comes to breaking the uncivilized nigger use the same process but vary the degree and step up the pressure so as to do so as to do a complete reversal of the mind <laughs> take the meanest and the most restless nigger strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male niggers the female and the nigger infant tar and feather him tie each leg to a different horse faced in opposite directions set him afire and beat both horses to pull him apart in front of the remaining nigger the next step is to take a bull whip and beat the remaining nigger male to the point of death in front of the female and the infant. <sighs> Don't kill him, but put the fear of God in him for he can be useful for future breeding. So do you see when they were talking about the psychological work that they're gonna do and put into the woman? Um, this is why women today, I believe, are the way they are because of all these generations that's been passed, like, you know, the, the information being passed down because of what was seen. Then things have just kind of spiraled out of control because there's a lot of other things that went on in between these time frames that just made it even worse. But this is showing you where it all started. This is something that's been implement, implemented for generations and generations, centuries and centuries, okay? So yeah, we're getting through it guys, we're getting through it. But I hope you guys are, are seeing that this goes all the way back. But nonetheless, let's continue because there is more. The breaking process of the African woman. And that's another thing guys, you need to also definitely do a deep dive into your genealogy um, go all the way back because not all of us were um, taken from Africa and brought to the Americas. Definitely, there is so much to learn. There is so much to learn, guys. Trust and believe. But there are some of um, you know us who have African ancestors as well. But nonetheless, let's continue because this impacts melanated people all across the globe 
All right, so the breaking process of the African woman. Take the female and run a series of tests on her to see if she will submit to your desires willingly. Test her in every way because she is the most important factor for good economics. So do you see why we really need to look at women and hope them get out of this crazy state that they're in that they don't even understand why they're in it um and also more so women understand why you need to take accountability for your actions some of the actions um is things that's just been instilled and embedded in your dna over years and years and years and just things that's been taught because as they say water have memory and we know our dna is water so there are a lot of things that are instilled in us that we don't even understand why we do but you know it, it it's going to say some interesting things um as i continue reading but we all still know right from wrong but sometimes you know you know like i'm doing something wrong but how do i stop why can't i stop sometimes these things are dating back to all of these traumas and also down to the foods that you eat like let me listen this is not that type of video i'm just here to read this book but there's so much there is so much we are being attacked on all levels but this one is just to kind of help us see the beginning and we you know start fixing start fixing it you know at least know where it, where it began and we can start working on this particular area and then as life goes on we'll work on the other areas but <laughs> let's continue i'm gonna read that part again though Take the female and run a series of tests on her to see if she will submit to your desires willingly. willingly. Test her in every way because she is the most important factor for good economics. If she shows any sign of resistance in submitting completely to your will, do not hesitate to use the bullwhip on her to extract that last bit of resistance out of her. Take care not to kill her. For in doing so, you spoil good economics. When in complete submission, she will train her offsprings in the early years to submit to labor when, the, when they become of age. That was a typo right there. Understanding is the best thing. Okay. Therefore, we shall go deeper into this area of the subject matter concerning what we, we have produced here in this breaking process of the female nigger. <sighs> we have reversed the relationship in her natural uncivilized state. <laughs> so in our natural state, they're saying we're uncivilized. That's interesting, but the things that they're doing to us to get us to do what they want us to do, that's supposed to be civilized. <laughs> interesting. Let's continue. We have reversed the relationship in her natural uncivilized state. She would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male and she would have a limited protective tendency towards her independent male offspring and would raise male offsprings to be dependent like her. Nature had provided for this type of balance. We reversed nature by burning and pulling a civilized nigger apart and bull whipping the others to the point of death all in her presence by her being left alone unprotected with the male image destroyed the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state in this frozen psychological state of independence she will raise her male and female offspring in reverse roles so clearly we understand that in our uncivilized state we were very much dependent on our men but in the breaking of the female and the men we now are independent we don't want this thing to happen to him because we are so fearful that now we start to raise our boys and girls in reverse roles. So that's what I'm trying to say. This goes all the way back. All right, let's continue. 
For fear of the young male's life, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. Because she has become psychologically independent, she will turn her female offsprings to be psychologically psychological independent. What have you got? You've got the nigger woman out front and the nigger man behind and scared. This is a perfect situation of sound sleep and economic. Before the breaking process, we had to be alertly on guard at all times. So, did you guys get that? So it says, for fear of the young male's life, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. So women, when you're out here saying, oh, men ain't doing this, men, da, 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 understand what had happened. Mothers were now raising their children in reverse roles. He'll be mentally weak, but physically strong. And the, the, the females, the, the younger women, she will train her female offsprings to be psychologically independent, right? Because this says she's scared. She don't want what happened to the men happen to her um, sons. So she's training them in reverse roles, okay? So, yeah, so when men also today saying oh these independent women and all these different things we have to understand <laughs> that this was all um a breaking process a brainwashing process and now that we are understanding where it's coming from and that it was going on for years and years and years and years we can start to kind of like understand the situation just like i did a reaction video where um you know it was it was a Kevin Samuels reaction video and he was saying to the lady it's a Jamaican lady and he was explaining like well now that we understand that you know the men weren't in the house to show um, the boys how to be men us women need to be more understanding and um, you know allow for that man to get into his role and we not being so err, right? And now I hope as well, the same grace can be shown to women that this was what was happening back then. Again, I am not saying, oh, be soft on women because the women of today, they are going crazy and it, you need to be aggressive. But in um, aggressively trying to get to the bottom of this, understand where it's all stemming from instead of just throwing blame oh you this you that you da 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 understand and then both men and women need to understand the situation and then we start doing that work but anyway let me continue i'm almost done <laughs> um <laughs> so now we can sleep soundly for out of a frozen fear this woman stands guard for us he cannot get past her early slave molding process. I don't know if there's a, some typos in this because up there they had the when it should have been they and right here it says he cannot pass her early slave molding process. I don't know if it was to be meant to be she cannot pass her early slave molding process but I'm going to read it as it is in the book but I believe it should be she but it says he cannot pass her early slave molding process. He is a good tool now ready to be tied to the horse at a tender age. By the time a nigger boy reaches the age of 16, he is soundly broken in and ready for a long life of sound and efficient work and the, repro and the reproduction of a unit of a good labor force. Continually through the breaking off uncivilized savage niggers, <laughs> savage, uncivilized but do we hear what these people are doing to our people yet we are savages and uncivilized i didn't know civilized people behave the way they are and it's interesting because now when we don't behave how they want us to behave we're uncivilized but if we behave the way they want us to behave we're civilized 
You see the mind control here? Oh, I need to dress like the overseers, the slave masters. Carry myself like them because if I go to my natural state of being, I am uncivilized. <laughs> anyway, continuing. Mm. Continually through the breaking of uncivilized savage niggers by throwing the nigger female savage into a frozen psychological state of independence by killing off the protective male image. <laughs> You're so civilized. You're going to go kill the protective male image that we had in our men. Yeah? Anyway. By killing off the protective male image and by creating a submissive, dependent mind of the nigger male slave, we have created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever unless a phenomenon occurs and reshifts the position of the male and female slaves. Don't worry, the phenomenon is about to begin. Or it's already begun. But anyway, we show what we mean by example. Take the case of the two economic slave units and examine them closely. The nigger marriage. We breed two nigger males with two nigger females. Then we take the nigger males away from them and keep them moving and working. Say one nigger female bears a nigger female and the other bears a nigger male. Both nigger females being without influence of the nigger male image, frozen with an independent psycholog um, with an independent psycholo psycholo psychology psychology okay, will raise their offspring into reverse positions. The one with the female offspring will teach her to be like herself, independent and negotiable. We negotiate with her, through her, by her. We negotiate her at will. The one with the nigger male offspring, she being frozen with subconscious fear of his life, will raise him to be mentally dependent and weak, but physically strong. In other words, body over mind. Now, in a few years, when these two offsprings become fertile for early reproduction, we will mate and breed them and continue the cycle. That is good, sound, and a long-range comprehensive planning. So, do you see the attack that have been done on um, our people from a very long time. So these people are being raised in fear, in fear of their children's lives, their husband's lives, their own lives, and they continue to perpetuate this fear. And to these civilized people, this is good for business. And then here we are, hundreds of years later, fighting with each other. Oh, she's this. Oh, he's that. Oh, men ain't this. Oh, women ain't that. Oh, these modern women. Oh, these modern men. But don't even realize this stems all the way back. Like I says, this is for educational purposes and hopefully we can see and work together as a collective to improve our image instead of we pointing fingers and cussing each other out. But don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be on women because we need to get it together. Hopefully this, the reading of this book will help us to get it together, okay? But I will still share my opinions in um, any future reaction videos. Don't get it twisted.